Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be a preview of the New York land coming up. Both of these guys are going to be participating. They're both also, I believe, Artosis admins. You should recognize Refrigerator from the Dead Infested Cup, which was absolutely hilarious and very entertaining. I think Fridge went pretty deep overall on the Infested maps. He's starting the upper right as the Pink Protoss, very alliterative, and we have the Red Terran bottom right, very honorable, from Sva. This is going to be on Polypoid. Both these guys, so I have not seen Fridge's play outside of Infested Cup. Inside Infested, so on Infested maps, he's rather clever. Very, very clever. And I also haven't seen a lot of Sva outside of Free For Alls, where I'm trying to think of how deep he's gone in any Free For All or another, but it'll be interesting to kind of get an idea of their style of play overall from this. And I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot more familiar this Saturday as I'm able to cast. But I don't know their MMRs. I think they're around, if I'm gonna make a wild guess, I think they're around the 1700, 1800 area. I'm gonna wait for Sva and chat to correct me or not. Um, but I think they're in that region. So I think they're like solid C to B level overall and should have some interesting... I'm Honestly, like, all of the players there are pretty solid. I didn't see a player on the list where I'm like, oh man, that guy's gonna bounce. So, I'm kind of excited about it overall, and they should. there should be some pretty solid games. Looks like we are gonna see a gas opener for Sva, rather than the barracks into expansion opener. Fridge, in the meantime, has gone gateway assimilator. We'll see if Fridge is on the current meta or not, and he's gonna, if he produces that first zealot, which can oftentimes be preventative, Instead, he's going to go straight to Cybernetic Score and try to play it Snow style. Yeah, the, the Zealot has become somewhat standard to try to prevent a lot of early style builds that Terran have been throwing out. We do have three SCV in gas for Sva. We'll see if more pull off, but this does indicate we're maybe seeing an aggressive opener. Fridge going to get first scout, making his way bottom right. Looks like Sva is going to be scouting bottom left initially. One advantage for Fridge skipping that initial Zealot is you should be able to get to those Dragoons a little bit faster, and sometimes that can lead to some map control. I got confirmations for Sva that they're both in the 1800s range, but they haven't been active in a little bit. So, may not be in top form for the tournament. We have single SCV now on gas, so it looks like Sva just going for that factory. Probably going to go for Vulture into expand opener with the three Marine support. The probe able to cycle all the way around. And some nice... Using the uh, architecture against him. First Dragoon on the way, we have range upgrading as well. Nice little maneuver to maybe get a probe kill. Got him. Exploded, but I think Fridge seen pretty much what he wanted to see. In particular, seeing that the gas had basically been abandoned, which suggests it's going to be a faster expansion. So First Dragoon starting to move out, wants to get some damage done on the front. Let's see if there's going to be a probe blockade on the ramp as this SCV is cycling around, or if that second Dragoon is going to be able to intercept and stop that information. It looks like potentially not on both counts, as Sva also going to be able to just get an eyeful of that Nexus being dropped. So perfectly there for the Nexus timing, so knows precisely what he's up against. So knows he's going to have some Dragoons on his front, but doesn't have to worry too much about a unit flood to follow things up, any sort of Bulldog break or anything along those lines. Also, seeing the range, pretty deep into range. I think after seeing that Nexus, you got to have confidence that it wasn't a, a fake out to go for robotics. But Fridge being a little bit off guard, dedicating that. So that was a nice play there by Sva, seeing that that second Dragoon was dedicating to deal with that SCV in the main, pushing forward with his Vulture and two Marines to go ahead and try to get that Dragoon kill, doing it a massive amount of damage, but pretty nice micro on Fridge able to get some heavy damage done on that Vulture, which is going to send it a bit back. Let's see if Sva dedicates some repair on that Vulture. Bunker's up. There are four Marines that can go ahead and slot into it. The three Marines holding the high ground and just maybe to trap an additional Dragoon. What that does do is, is that allows Sva to feel a little bit more comfortable against any form of Dragoon pressure. you got one Dragoon that's heavily damaged. you got the rest on the front. Going ahead and lifting off that barracks, getting that machine shot. I wonder if this does boost gas, if that's the proper placement for it. But anyway... Armory going up to make its way for plus one weapons. And I think Sfa, if I was going to guess the way he's going to play this thus far after sealing the front, maybe he's going to wait for Comsat. 
to go for additional info, but wants to get a hop on that plus one weapons to maybe go for, uh, maybe make his way towards 2-1, but this is one of those maps where going for 3-2 in the long play, never mind, maybe some, we got two additional factories plopping down, which suggests we're going to have a higher game uh, vulture count in the mid game. This might actually work pretty well against Refrigerator because he's dropped a second gateway, but not a lot else. Got that observatory up towards the front, is mostly staging a defensive play and is already starting to stage towards the third. The vulture swinging around. I think that's the same vulture. It was in fact repaired in between, but swinging around, checking that third out, isn't going to get a lot else out of it, but is going to see the probe making its way that direction. Nice timing on that. So it doesn't, doesn't get the probe kill to halt that third, but seeing that probe out is going to be a huge indicator. You know what would be like next level is if a Protoss at some point moved the probe on that exact timing to be like, yeah, I'm taking a third, but instead was doing a complete other, just side thoughts. That would it, that would make Artosis, if I was going to talk about a rage build, that would be a rage build. Anyway, second machine shop dropping. So I think we're going to see a plus one weapons, uh, four factory. It's possible we'll see a fifth factory drop. But this is going to be a big dedication to troops overall. Usually when you see this, this is more of an aggressive play. It's kind of halfway in between. The five factories is like, I'm just going a lot of units and going to play from there. But this is one of those things where you can kind of have both swing advantages, where you got four factories, which allows a larger unit count to start. Ugh, Fridge loses the first observer, but does see the four factories. And I think he got view of the machine shops in play. So it gives you options to go for a pseudo... Uh, push on the plus one weapons finish if you feel like you're in a solid position but at the same time it also gives you a lot of troops on the ground to just go ahead and move forward grab your third and make your way towards three two otherwise as well uh, we do have that defensive turret also in the front fridge sitting on the oh i was gonna say sitting on the perimeter this time observer takes some additional shots vaughn knows that that's out there right now a little bit light on the siege tank count just about to get the two additional out there but fridge again playing very defensively it was a little bit early it looks like on that probe transfer has a nice pylon wall. It looks like that forge up on the front to go ahead and create that seal against any sort of vultures making their way out. And I think that's, again, in response to those that four factory play. Because oftentimes with that four factory, you can just have vultures flooding all over the map. Citadel of Dune, Zelt, leg speed upgrading, additional gateways being plopped down. So Fridge looking like he wants to play gateway man style. This could be effective for him. He's ahead in workers. He got that third up pretty rapidly. But I'm not sure if he's done, and actually this might work out against four factories rather than a lighter earlier game factory count. If he can just stay on top of the macro, it's going to be a macro race. He's going to have the infrastructure and the economy, be able to pull it off, but it's going to be a challenge because Va, because usually when you're going gateway, man, what you want is you want to have an overwhelming amount of troop numbers. You want to reset that siege tank count over and over and over again, and just use your superior economy to bull over your Terran opponent. And when they're going for the four factory, that means they're going to have that kind of mid game, that mid range, flexible amount of units. If they position well, they can end up in a good fighting situation. It looks like this is a move towards that third base. Sva bringing some SCVs along. Never mind, he's going for the push. Pulled the Marines out. Wants to go for it on the plus one weapons completion. Refrigerator sees it, starting to move forward with a lot of the dragoons. That tank a little bit too far forward. It's going to get picked off. Actually, barely sneaks out. Zelt leg speed's gonna finish as well as a slew of Zelts along the way. Sva sieging a little bit short. Now cycling around. Now let's see if he can, now here's the thing. He can abandon this if he wants. He can abandon this, take the territory and go for a third. And let's see if that's what he opts to do and even grab uh, the third base interior here. He has sent an SCV in and it looks like he's, but he could also slow push this all the way up to the natural expansion. We have a shuttle, looks like with a handful of zealots. And it looks like he is just gonna try to shove it all the way across. So moving all the way in, clearing, getting the mines in place, the zealots along that edge, Fridge swinging his troops all the way around. Oof, not the best observer discipline though. And it's losing a few troops right there. Let's go ahead and zoom out. The vultures gonna swing through and cut off reinforcements. Unfortunately for Fridge, he built the infrastructure, but didn't hit the point where he was able to get that big surge of troops. And as a result, with that move around maneuver, ended up losing a lot. Some beautiful zealot bombs, though, on the front, right on top of the siege tanks, creating a lot of disruption there. Some probes pulling off the line to try to clear this up as well. But Spa still with a pretty good hold. Three more siege tanks remain. No more reinforcements making their way up, though. And it looks like a zealot and three dragoons going to be able to clear that out. 
And now, Fridge able to wipe out a lot of infrastructure, and that was a huge loss for Sva overall. His siege tank count's been completely reset. He's still sitting on the four factories, so he can shell up, but he's gonna... He looks like he's gonna try to restage towards that third. Should have actually recognized the lack of second armory, actually, to make the maneuver more than anything. But Fridge, now that he's got all of these gateways pumping, he's got the three bases that were more or less untouched. He's still got a healthy probe count, might want to add a few more in there, but he's going to be able to keep producing troops. I'm surprised he's playing this a little bit more defensively, though, because usually after that follow-up, you want to track all the way back up and make sure that you're getting the free shots on the front and not seeding as territory as you can. Sva looking to go ahead and reset while he rebuilds his troop count and go ahead and grab his third. Kind of the flexibility of the four. I kind of like the four factory play as well, honestly, because you can kind of do that sort of action versus not. It's not like a full dedication. Regardless, Fridge now able to kind of poke at the front. It's going to send the Zealots forward. Has some servers. These are out of siege tank. Well, I thought they were out of siege tank range. But never mind. The Zealots marching straight across the siege tank grouping, and Sfa didn't have sufficient troops to defend this, so being forced to cancel that third, that was very ambitious considering the previous engagement, and now Fridge going to hold that high ground. Vultures at the 12 o'clock were looking for a fourth. I think he was just hoping that it was going to seed and expand. But Fridge now denying that base in a very strong position is once again reset the troop count of Sfa as a nice supply lead. And is continuing with that macro, and he is, it looks like at this stage, going to go ahead and tech up to Arbiters, potentially. Sva doing a good job of denying additional bases with some vultures and mines. Also has that SCV to potentially scout. That would be kind of a, usually you don't want the, as a Protoss, you usually don't want to expand into your Terran opponent. But Fridge looking like he's in a pretty solid spot. Now, emergency mode, Sva dropping two more factories to get a surge of troops, maybe with that plus one armor upgrade. Might want to wait until plus two. Regardless, just get plus two weapons, plus one armor, and work with what you got on the six factory. Maybe even just try to slow, slow push up to that high ground. Fridge using his Dragoons to just force his way up into the front. The Observer a little bit delayed on that. This is where Observer fee, uh, speed can be very, very helpful. But Fridge, if he wants to play Gateway Man, so it's kind of funny that he's actually moving back to Stargate at this stage and dropping that Arbiter Tribunal. Because if he wanted to play a Gateway Man from here, honestly, he probably could have just straight up uh, gone for a solid win that direction. Instead, going for more of the long play here. That is going to give opportunities for Sva to maybe walk up, cap that third over the long term. But what Fridge can do is he can just expand. Just make sure he stays a base ahead. Continues to tech up. Gets that Arbiter energy. He's dropping a lot more Gateway, so he's still going to be very, very... Uh, hasn't got that Arbiter started just as of yet. Look, getting that stasis up is still going to be very, very troop heavy. Still has that 20 supply lead. Now some Goliaths moving out in anticipation of potential Arbiters. Some nice mines on the front and Sva sealing up on the high ground. Hasn't really sent a lot of Vultures actively out in the field considering the amount of factories he's had to scout things out and get some pot shots for Fridge. Seeing those troops moving out wants to go ahead and move out and potentially engage this. This is not a lot of siege tanks. For this stage of the map, of the match, it's just six at the 13 minute mark. The Zelts getting a little bit blockaded. So I'm not sure that they're going to be able to get up to this high ground. Yeah. Getting some damage on some additional units is going to be able to back out. But that was kind of, that was a win for Sfo overall. And Refrigerator also dropping his macro just a little bit. Expanding to the 12 o'clock base. I think he was like, I did so well with that last engagement. Maybe I could just barrel forward and make that next one happen and just... Uh, ended up paying for it a little bit, but now Sfa can comfortably go ahead and grab his third. I like Refrigerator's Observer activity, though, overall in his enemy side of the base. So 12 o'clock coming up, we have the anti-Vulture pylon wall along that edge. Fritch does need to worry a little bit if Sfa gets feisty again and tries to press right up into him, but he's still, again, just sitting off the two machine shops rather than three. So that siege tank count is going to still remain somewhat manageable. And it's going to be a long... Honestly, it's going to be quite some time before there's really a massive siege tank count that's really going to be scary for Fridge to go up against. Vultures trying to make their way through into the 12 o'clock. Looks like some cannons 
being warped in. There's a lot of mines between here, and that's going to be a lot of dead dragoons as well, potentially. So that's at least. So we, let's go ahead and try to keep count here. One, a lot of damage on them. Able to pick that one off. The vulture's actually able to get in. So the dragoons, rather than taking the the close route and able to get some probe kills as well. All of a sudden, actually, if Sfa's able to saturate that third through some solid macro in that Vulture Assault, he's right back in it, because he's sitting at the 60 worker count. He saturated this base. Fridge, in the meantime, paused worker production for whatever reason. Might be just a macro flub. And that's putting him where he's only got... Not the best... Honestly, yeah, not the best saturation overall. And the main looking very unsaturated. He's down on bases. And now that siege tank count starting to fill out for Sva, so looking pretty solid. Dragoon's looking to reposition and wisely, well, doing a little bit of mine clearage to the south. It doesn't look like that observer speed, I don't think that observer speed's been upgraded yet to make that a little bit easier. It looks like, yeah, it's just now finishing. And Sva, feeling spicy, I'm going to go ahead and grab that six o'clock base as well and allow some good, mi I guess, using the mine coverage spottage to feel. The thing is, is like with the siege tanks here at the high ground, he'll be able to defend that. But if there is a troop rotation or a recall at the six o'clock location, I do not believe you'll be able to defend it. At the current stage, some vultures getting trapped and killed. Otherwise, I will say Refrigerator is doing a pretty good job of spending the resources that he's got in the bank overall observer. Now speeding forward a little bit too far. Okay, it looks like just on the edge of range. Is he going to be able to catch these on the corner? Looks like the dragoons aren't going to set those off, but it looks like Refrigerator starting to stake claims on some additional territory. Wants to go ahead and expand upper left. Looks like the dragoons also... Doesn't look like they triggered the additional mine. But this is going to give Sva forward notification that that base is being grabbed. Man. Fridge getting a little bit... This is the luck of the Protoss right here. But they're not quite uh, getting caught on the edge of these mines. Might even get some... Yeah, kill right there. Anyway, Sfoss staging up to go ahead and grab the 3 o'clock. He's down in supply, but has a solid economy. And honestly, as a, if Fridge keeps attacking at this location, instead of swinging around and going across the left-hand side of the map to engage the 6 o'clock, or if he doesn't fly. I haven't seen an Arbiter out in the field yet, honestly. I don't see one staging at any location. Okay, we got one Arbiter on the, out on the front. It looks like it is going to shortly have enough energy for a recall. I don't know if Fridge is going to want to dedicate to that recall. Man, that mine did some travel right there. Arbiter moving across. Not a whole lot of troops there. Sfa comps heading to get a look at the army. That Zealot got a huge spread. You can see all the shielding that was peeled off with that that mine hit. And with the siege tanks up on the high ground and some clutter in between. And supply depots fall in a pretty comfortable position. It looks like Fridge now thinking about going for that first recall. Let's see if he can get across that turret line. He's going to recall into the 3 o'clock position. There's four siege tanks here. Is he going to... Re no, isn't going to bother to recall at the 3 o'clock. He's making his way all the way to the natural... No, going for the main. I don't think it's going to make it. Oh, did make it! Amazing! How many turrets do you need? Gets on that. And this is a great recall as well because it's right on top of that factory line. Let's see if it can focus down the, uh, the factories, the machine shops, etc. Getting a bit in the supply. That's causing... Looks like there's not a lot of territory being seized. Uh, pulled back at the 3 o'clock. The factory's actually lifting off. Some Dragoon's getting as far as the natural expansion right there. But it looks like Fridge isn't going for the counterattack out on the front to kind of press it to punish the evacuated territory however but still that's some factories gone slash lifted up a lot of infrastructure damage Sfa had to pull back a massive distance to go ahead and deal with that however a vulture was able to sneak into the top left and create some disruption it looks like fridge rather than attacking the position evacuated there at the three o'clock man the zealot's still active here the position uh, evacuated at the 3 o'clock is going to go ahead and move his troops up to attack the top left to clear that out so he can get some mining done there. Because of the macro cycles, however, despite all of this damage, the supply counts are looking even at the end of the day. A critical thing, though, is, is that one armory was wiped out, which is definitely going to delay plus three weapons. 
So we got plus two and Svok gonna try to expand again. It looks like bottom left. So let's get a base count. So we got, we got two bases saturated, three bases, four active, five. And this one light, so four and a half. Four and a half and the main is mined out. Main's mined out, natural expansion's mined out. So we got four and a half versus three and it looks like I missed an attack here at the three o'clock base because potentially a recall right there because that's getting wiped out as well. So Sva hurting for an economy is all of a sudden plummeted in supply in comparison to Fridge. And this might be end game right here. Zealots walking up on siege tanks, able to deny that three o'clock. It looks like massive reinforcements make the way out. The command center shifting right back. Sva desperately needs to retake this three o'clock base. Comps heading the troops on the high ground. Fridge could probably A move or recall up here. And that might be it. But right now he's just taking free fire across the three o'clock position. I'm not sure what the distraction is. Okay, now starting to move forward. Is he gonna recall? Oh, that would have been a prime recall. Never mind, just gonna walk troops up. Also moving the Arbiter across, maybe? He's just kind of pocking it to that right-hand corner, walking up with the rest of the troops. Zell's doing some damage, some SCVs moving in to try to help with the defense. And a lot of troops being expended. And honestly, that was a, I'm not sure what happened with Frigia canceled recall. It looks like bottom right. I don't think an EMP hit there, but if he just done, oof, that was unfortunate. By attacking in there, taking a lot of free damage, all of a sudden, he's close to uh, Sfa's supply once again. Sfa has expanded bottom left. Doesn't have additional expansion right there. It looks like now Fridge moving the rest of the way in. Arbiter might get taken out by this turret, but there's not a... Okay, looks like he was able to swing across and get... That's what the, the purpose was, to go ahead and get that stasis on the rear. But I don't know that he has enough troops. And some High Templar just sitting here, not expending Psy Storms currently. And they might get picked off by this Vulture without the Dragoon support. Oof, that was close. So big fight here continually on the three clocks. Fa going to go ahead and abandon that and start attacking top left. It looks like there were a lot of cannons there being dropped in an emergency from Refrigerator. He hasn't... Again, supply count's just about even. This is turning in quite the match. More cannons being dropped. Siege tanks on the front to go ahead and peel those cannons away and might be able to get some turrets up as well, three o'clock base has been retaken by Sfa. It looks like the High Templar finally being picked off. So Sfa able to get back to mining there. That was gonna be critical. So he's got the six o'clock base that's mining. He's got his mineral only that's mining. That three o'clock is mining. Starting to threaten everything top left. We do have a lot of gateways down here from, ref from Refrigerator. So we can go ahead and produce a lot of troops from both locations, moving in that Arbiter as well. Might wanna drop a stasis just to go ahead and buy himself some time potentially he does have the energy for it some more zealots making the way out looks like there's the stasis only catching one of the siege tanks though probes fleeing as the vulture is able to get into that natural expansion the zealots instead working on the siege tanks on the low ground before turning around and trying to engage the vultures at the natural expansion usually yeah with some decent amount of micro might be able to take those units out or might be able to just massacre some probes Throughout this match, despite having superior bases, Refrigerator's been behind in the overall worker count, so really hasn't been able to turn the superior amount of bases into the superior, uh, overwhelming amount of resources that I think he's wanted to. Still see Chink lingering there menacingly in the blue crystal, but both sides stabling out overall. Ooh, here's a trick though. Sva might end up losing this command center here at the three o'clock as he hasn't noticed that it's burning. And so that actually, in fact, might get taken out. Factory, so factory gonna burn. And it's gonna be a few seconds. We'll we'll keep an eye on that overall. Fridge at even supply once again. Has a large amount of arbiters, a lot of high Templar support as well. Oh, Sva. And I'm curious if he's gonna. No, he's not. Burns. Curious if he's gonna notice the SCVs moving across. Also, bottom left has been spotted by Fridge. He does have, he will have recallable energy that there is a mine to potentially spot it. Dropping a lot of mines in between to stop any ground army that's making its way. But this is very recallable territory. 
This needs to not drop right on top of any sort of mine. It looks like the Arbiter also going to scout. I was checking the natural as well as the third to try to get kind of a general idea. And it looks like maybe he's going to go for a recall here at the six o'clock location. If he can get past that turret blockade. So not able to get the recall off. And attack troopings. Pressing for the observer. Getting wiped out. A lot of troops clearing out Sva actually with the supply lead, but hasn't managed to get his troops in position to defend this. It's mostly vultures trying to disrupt the front. Some nice sty storms from refrigerator. And Sva trying to siege to the right. And it looks like Sva able to get there in just the nick of time to push refrigerator back. High Templar and Zealot getting stranded otherwise. Nine o'clock base attempting to get constructed, but Sva disrupting that with some vultures. This is turning into an insane match. We are seeing the distance mining from the three o'clock as well. Looks like Sva finally, has he recognized it? Doesn't have enough resources to rebuild that command center right this second. So currently he's basically mining sort of at two and a half bases. Soon to be three, if he can get that saturated. In the meantime, Refrigerator expanding top left. He's got four bases to work with, so does have the economic lead, has a massive amount of gateways, has double Stargate if he just needs to keep it all pumping. Right now, still down in supply, is actually, I think, ahead in upgrades, yeah. Has the upgrade lead, so his base units actually hit harder. So, Vulture's scooting in, trying to get their can, not getting much left top left. The map is sort of split. In theory, as Fa can get good trades, Cap bottom left and cap the mineral only there. He should end up winning the match if he's had favorable trades up to this stage. The question is, is if and if he's going to last and be able to hold territory up uh, from here. There's a lot of high tech units here. You got a lot of Arbiters, you got a lot of High Templar, and you got still that considerable lead and also the aforementioned level three upgrades across the board now. Vultures scooting in. It looks like they are going to be able to deny this Nexus at the nine o'clock, so... Small mercies here for Sva. The Arbiter once again making its way bottom left. This time, certainly going to be able to get the recall. Well, is it? Okay, getting a small recall. Loses the Arbiter. Mines might be able to clear out what's left, but that's forcing a lift off. Counterattack of Vultures, but some cans just about to warp in. And Refrigerator cutting off the re-engagement point. Looks like all the vultures flooding this direction. Sva a little bit potentially in panic mode right here, recognizing he needs to do some sort of economic damage now that he's not able to cut the map in half and take everything bottom left. Some siege tanks have moved up between point A and point B. They don't have a lot of support, but they are just facing dragoons right there. Psystorm moving up, but some vulture reinforcements going to clear things out. It looks like the commsat might be able to allow some pickoff of High Templar, but Refrigerator able to get, looks like all of the storms off. Almost all of the storms off before it's really costing him. Sfa starting to hurt for supply now. Right around the 122 mark, 50 supply behind refrigerator. Fridge sending some additional attack troops just to make sure that he's cleaned up everything bottom left. Now it's just a contain mission for Fridge. Yeah, push him back to the bottom right hand quadrant of the map. And that should be victory. We have a factory that's actually landed. So that factory that was spotting earlier is now producing troops bottom left. Six o'clock is still running. The mineral only is running. And it looks like that three o'clock has been rebuilt. But this still is going up against four, soon to be five bases. A highly upgraded Protoss army and a lot of tech behind it. Zealots moving in, finding that factory, going to be able to clear it out. I don't know that these attack troops are going to be able to get a lot accomplished. More troops moving in from the north. Actually, now might be able to get a solid stasis. And Sva has a couple troops that are spread out to the rear. Arbiters alone actually might be able to wipe a lot of this out. Yeah, stasis engaging that back in an overwhelming attack now from Refrigerator. He's definitely got his opponent where he wants him sealed in. Empty size storms. So near max for Refrigerator Sva clawing just over... The half supply mark at 121. And eating a lot of... Yeah, this is probably going to be GG. Especially considering seeing how many... Uh, ooh, another recall at the 6 o'clock. This is just the icing on the cake. Once this space is gone, Sva is really not going to have a lot of recovery options. 
really need to keep this base operational to stay relevant. He's got some vultures scooting through, but there's cannons providing defense. And it looks like some reinforcements as well. And Sva with that, going to call GG. I want to give kudos to Sva because I was like, give me a random game, whether you want or not, against another uh, New York land opponent. And he did and gave me just a random game. So kudos to him, but look, he should have some exciting games at New York Land. Be sure to root for him and Refrigerator and everybody else this Saturday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.